As many of you know, several years ago, we had aripiprazole laroxol, which was approved under the trade name of Aristata, just to differentiate it from the other long-acting injectable aripiprazole formulation. One issue with it is that you needed oral coverage, and that oral coverage was three weeks or 21 days. The company recognized that this was an issue for many patients. If the whole point of putting you on LAI is that you have difficulty with oral adherence, well, what's the point of giving you a prescription once I give you an injection and you're not going to take it? It means you're going to have sub-therapeutic levels for weeks. So they developed a different formulation of aripiprazole laroxyl. It's still laroxyl, but it's a smaller crystal size and has different kinetic properties with the idea that that injection, combined with a single 30 milligram oral dose, replaces that three weeks of oral med coverage. The important concept is that package of 675 of the nanocrystal plus 30 of oral replaces the oral coverage. What that means is you're also supposed to give them the regular, what would be their maintenance injection of aripeprazole laroxyl. So some people are like, wow, you're going to give them two shots and a single 30 milligram oral pill? Sounds like a lot of drug. But I'll show you the kinetic curves because that's really where the answer is. I can tell you, oh, it's going to be comparable, blah, blah, blah. But once I show you the blood levels, I think you'll believe me. So this was approved on July 2nd. And the point being is we now have a way to get people therapeutic without having to worry whether they're going to take three weeks of oral bridging coverage. And so this is really the concept there. I would actually change that right slide. It's not one to two days. It's maybe more like four days. So for those of you who still have motor control, uh, maybe change that to four days. But again, it's a package deal. That means if I give you the injection and you take that 30 milligram oral dose, it's going to be about four days. If you have somebody who says, I'm not going to take any pill, you can give me all the shots you want, I'm not going to take your pills, they're poison, you're the devil, whatever, then that gets pushed back maybe about another week to effective level. So maybe it's more like day 11 if they won't take that 30 milligram oral dose. So that single pill, you think, oh, what's a single pill? It helps. It does help. It kind of gets you just a little bit closer to your goal a little bit sooner. So this is the whole concept, is that the pill that single pill will give you a little blip, which will cover you for a few days. Then the nanocrystal dispersion will then peak within a few weeks with a very short half-life. And then the aripiprazole laroxyl, the traditional formulation, will come rumbling down the pike, and it'll build up slowly, and its Tmax will happen a bit later than the nanocrystal.